Okay, here's the setup for the test. I have uh, the 1024A oscilloscope set to two seconds per division and uh, all the channels on. And then I have a function generator at 60 hertz and I have the 3000 scope also at two seconds per division and uh, all the channels on. Now um, I moved the delay, the trigger delay, I moved it to 12 seconds so in that way I can be right at the edge of this the beginning of the screen here because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 divisions so I want to be uh, if I move 6 divisions back times 2 seconds that's 12 seconds delay in the case of the 3000 scope I have 2 seconds per division and I have 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so that's a delay of 10 seconds so I have the delay set up right there at 10 seconds so in that way I'm going to capture data post trigger in both cases so I'm going to start the capture oh let's see the um, sampling rate is 426.7 samples per second in the case of the 3000 it is 100, sam 100 kilo samples per second so 100,000 samples per second let's see how this affects the measurement so so I hit a single oscilloscope starts capturing I'm going to hit single here as well and the oscilloscope starts capturing data so we can see both scopes capturing data and then as soon as uh, 12 seconds go by that one will stop and then stop and then this one will stop as well right so now let's see the signal I'm going to zoom in by moving times per division and we're going to see sine wave that is distorted because of the low sample rate so we can see it's not a very good uh, sine wave in this case we're going to move zoom in and we can see a really nice sine wave in both cases here this oscilloscope is measuring 60 hertz and in this case on this oscilloscope I can hit on measure and I can choose time frequency and then it says 15.9 hertz so the frequency measurement is okay because it's counting the beginning of one cycle until the beginning of the next but as you can see the signal is not looking good because of the low the low sample rate of 426.7 samples per second I hope that he, this helps to illustrate that the memory depth does uh, make an impact on the quality of the signal that you capture.